Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I am coming up with a small tutorial on 3D modeling and office interior in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So let's go into file, view image file. So I have taken this reference over here. So we will be modeling, texturing and lighting this stuff over here. So let's take a plane over here, very first of all. Let's go to the top view and I'll take, go into AC extended and I'll take a wall over here. Now, Again, I'll go into this. I'll make this length and width segments as one and one. Select the vertices, slightly just push it over here. Slightly, I can just push it in this way. Convert to poly. Shuffle it over here. Now, what I'll be doing over here is like, let's take a table over here. So let's take a box over here in this way. So let's go into this, convert to poly, and let's go over here, and let's take a swift loop, select it in this way. So before that, I can just go over here and let's extrude it. Slightly shuffle it inside. And click OK. So we'll definitely do some changes over here. Now let's go into the edges and let's give some connect over here in this way. So let's select this polygons. Before that, I'll go over here and I'll start putting this swift loop over here so select this polygons and let's give a bit of extrude over here slightly all right so go over here from this side will slightly pull it out more select this go on to the wall side shuffle it up and select this polygons
so let's put some loop over here in this way so select this polygons let's give a bit of inset and let's extrude it a bit inside and let's click ok so i can just shuffle it in this way now i'll put one more loop over here So instead of putting the loops, what I'll do is I'll just undo it again. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put the whole loop. drag it up so select the vertices so what I'll do I'll slightly just push this up again select this again connect it over here in this way so select the polygons slightly inset it extrude it in negative axis So let's select the bottom one as well. So select this edges slightly, shuffle it up and again go over here. and let's give one connect okay so you need to ring it and give one connect push it up select the polygons slightly give inset and let's extrude it all right so now again i'll select this so before that i'll uh, put one loop over here and let's drag it or I can say extrude it a bit inside so before that what I'll do I'll just slightly we'll put one loop over here so we can just exclude this that would be better and let's <coughs> extrude it inside and let's take a box let's take an auto grid over here I'll create a box over here let me save this file once
isolate selection convert to poly select the edges and give one connect over here and let's extrude it and isolate it so what i'll do is uh, i'll put one loop over here and extrude it and isolate it now select this whole thing i'll just go into the material so i i won't give any gray color i'll just keep it over here as it is in this way so slightly shuffle it up now so once it is done all right so i'll just keep it over here uh, we can just uh, increase the height of the wall so i can just select this and i can slightly shuffle it up over here all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel if you are not subscribed yet please do subscribe so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so we'll just definitely scale this up a bit because it's looking very small so thanks for watching this tutorial.